Hey guys, Exotic Ants here, and welcome back to another episode. If you remember from my last video, I unboxed a new colony of meat ants, which I introduced into this setup to the left. And I'm proud to announce that they've finally moved into the nest and are doing really well. Let's check them out. Here you can see the queen in the smallest chamber, surrounded by a few of her workers. I'm not sure if you can see on the video, but there's actually a few pupae under her legs. This is really exciting, as it means that the population of the colony is going to start rapidly increasing. And to my surprise, despite the cold weather, the queen has actually started laying quite a lot of eggs. And if I had to estimate, I'd say she probably has at least 30 eggs. But anyway, that's enough of these guys, so let's get to what this video is all about. My Queen Banded Sugar Ant, or Campanotus concebrinus. If you've watched some of my other videos, you will have seen this girl in my video where I introduced you to all of my queen ants. But at that point she hadn't even started laying eggs, but you can see here now she actually has some larvae, which is really exciting. And I even got some footage of her picking one of the larvae up. I think the reason that she finally started laying eggs is that I installed a heat mat to keep them warm throughout the colder seasons. And it certainly is working. Don't you just love her colours and her sheer size as well? Personally, she's probably my favourite ant out of all of the ants that I own. And I can't wait for her to be the founder of a thriving colony. Oh, and also, I finally decided a name for my colony of meat ants. I did get a few name suggestions, but I decided to go with one that I came up myself. I decided to call them the Dark Dragons. Tell me in the comments what you think. So here she is next to the setup that I'm going to be housing her in. Oh, and also, list in the comment section below what you think that we should call this queen. Here's some footage of some of my other queens, just to let you know how they're going. I think they're all benefiting from having the heat mat under them. So this is what I've got all my queens in, and it's actually a test tube holder that I made myself. And I made it so that I can easily put a heat mat underneath all the test tubes, just like I've got here. So thank you guys so much for watching, and if you haven't already, like and subscribe to the channel, as it would really mean a lot to me. So see you in the next episode guys, bye.